Hey yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Icy Unit coming back to you with I guess this is episode three now. Or I guess we had the zero episode, we had one, and then this is two. So just a little catch up of what we did last time is we got through the Viridian Forest with about six Pokemon in our Pokedex, including our starter. Uh we got all the way I think Cerulean is the next one but regardless we got into the next city we kind of looked around a little bit we debated on what pokemon we should put on the team and i think for sure as you can see like right below here we took pidgey along with obviously we captured the weedle we captured the butterfree but let's pick up where we left off let's turn on the beats and I think what we'll do is we should go and beat up Brock a little bit and after we beat up Brock we should go back into the for okay so Pikachu can be found either in the forest or I think later on in the power plant so we can wait till the power plant and pick a Pikachu and look guys, I, I did some research and there was an alternate beginning that I could have done and I'm silly for not doing it, but it's okay. Maybe if y'all really like how the series is going, I am definitely okay with trying to do a follow-up series to this one later on in the future where I play through it and I try to speed run it. Hold on, hold on, before we go in there, before, before we go in there, level 10, level 12, I think we got it, I think we got it. And we got our starter mon at the beginning, I think we could sweep. We set up the leech seed. Just hit him. Just hit him. Just hit him. Or we can set up using. Does he have an attack lowering move? I think so. Growl. If he has growl. She? She. She has growl. No, I think we're going to set up the leech seed and then the growl. Seeded. But like I was saying, I think we could go back into the forest and pick up Pikachu. But I think it also is holding a certain thing that makes special attack go up. So if we really wanted to, we can go back and get that, which will be pretty good if we want to make um, our Bulbasaur down here into a like a very uh, special attack heavy Pokemon, which will, eh, could be pretty good. But I think it also lowers the speed or depending on the speed and I think our maybe our uh onion over here has a high speed stat if I do remember correctly all right let's go easy dub against the geodude set up the leech seed do we have to set up leech seed again I think we do but regardless we're about to hit level 12 sand true no I think we're gonna keep onion on and after we, oop, my bad guys, my bad guys. I think what we'll do is after we get this done, we'll go check out the museum, I think next, or I think we have to go into the next, try to go into the next city. Hopefully, hopefully if everything goes good, we can do a good job and get into the cave and I've been debating a bit I did I just okay at least he evaded it but I'm pretty sure he just hit off I, I just tried to do leech seed twice that's so silly but I think we can get into the cave and then probably go and pick up a clefairy maybe a clefable we have to pick up both regardless but I think for our sake a clefairy no well we have to pick up a Clefairy and a Jigglypuff. So, regardless of what we're doing, I think one of those two could be beneficial to us, but Pidgey is also acting like our normal type. Okay, and this is some throwback, but my first run through a Fire Red, I had a Jigglypuff because I thought it would be the funniest mod to try to beat the Elite Four with, and guess what? I did. I loved it. I after I got a Wiggly Tough, I was like, "This is it. Wiggly Tough is gonna just." I gave it Mega Kick. I gave it um, Mega Punch both, and so I dropped an X accuracy. Let's see, we have 18 speed. It's already a special attack. 
a slight special attacker. Definitely a beefy mon though. Barbecue got $220 for the barbecue. Oh, we got to have tacos or something like that's one of our Pokemon's names. All right. But I'm thinking I could pick up a Wigglytuff because I can give it the X accuracy and I could land all the mega punches, all the mega kicks I could ever need. You know, that's freaking powerhouse in it. Dude, you really think I'm going to lose? You really think I'm going to lose Brock? I can probably beat you up with no hands. I'm not throwing hands with you, Brock. My Pokemon are. I don't know if y'all ever watched like the actual uh, TV show or anime, but in the original, he does have a Geodude, right? And he has an Onyx. And I always wish I could have like caught specifically his Onyx because it was such a vibe and he all the time was protecting uh, Brock and the way that he always had a loyalty to Brock, even though Brock didn't even use him that much. Onyx wasn't even trained to be like a super powerful Mon. He was just the Mon, you know, he was the stereotype uh, gym leader Mon. Like he was the, this is whenever people think of Brock, they're like, Brock's is Onyx. And I honestly, it's for the right reasons. He's just like a very dependable Pokemon. He's very beefy. And if I was running a team and I had an Onyx, I would probably definitely upgrade it to Steelix because like Steelix does pick up all the resistance. Mm. I wish the speed was a little faster, but it's okay. Okay, I know we probably can't. Our bird ain't gonna do anything to it. Our bird literally isn't gonna do anything to it. I think it has hand attack, but it's okay, it's okay. Hold on, let's, let's look at the summary real quick, because I'm not gonna throw flying. Can I prevent loss of accuracy? Okay, here we go. Sand attack, gust. All of those are not going to do anything. What's your overgrow? Ups, grass, type moves in a pinch. What is a pinch, I guess, like defined as here in this game? Like, are we saying that in case everything goes downhill, you can just smack some grass type moves and it will have the extra power behind them? I mean, if that's the case, that'd be dope. We could have thrown out the Pidgey for the experience. I I realize that now, but it's okay guys, it's okay guys. We might need to pick up. We're kind of tanky. <gasps> Ooh, the one shot, one kill. Ain't nothing to you, Brock. Level 14, let's go. Level 14, we can take that, we can definitely take that. Mm -hmm. Give me your badge. Tell me I am the coolest of the guys. As proof of your victory, the official Pokemon League Boulder badge. The Boulder. Like from Avatar. Oh, shout out. Avatar. The Boulder approves. Enables you to use Flash outside of battle. Cool. cool. I don't think we're going to pick up Flash, being honest with you. Nor would I give it to one of my mons. Which is TM. I bet it has sand attack or something. Rock Tomb. Poke. A move that we didn't even see happen. Alright, let's go pick up. Or heal up a little bit. And then we'll go check out some other things. Maybe we need to get something done. In the city that I'm missing. Well, we can't come back here until we get cut. Because we can't go up and get the ember. Amber? Amber. Amber. The old Amber. The, the little thing that was like someone else's. Uh, or it was the, the thing from Jurassic Park. You know how they got the Mosquito Amber and then they were able to fill out the rest of the formula for the dinosaurs. Which I thought was honestly a very, very good stretch. They did it right. Where... Instead of like them magically being able to uh, just fill in the, the DNA. Uh, who are you, brother? What'd you got for me? 
Let's screw up a little bit, guys. What you got? What you got? What you know about me? What you what you know? Boom, boom. What you know about me? What you what you know about? Boom, boom. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. Oh, I didn't even read any of that, guys. I am so sorry. You just said bye bye, and I was like, oh, he's done. I got, we got the running shoes, that's right. All right, all right. Uh, faster than lightning out here. Okay, okay, okay. Do we heal up? Yeah, I think we healed up. This game's about to go so much faster, guys. We need to train our Pidgey though, so we can get into the... I'm hoping that I can get through the cave simile decently. Oh, level nine. I don't think I even need the stab right now. Oh, Pidgey strong. Aw, oh, dang, come on. Because your heart don't stand a chance. That's crazy. I'm thinking of a whole different song while this amazing immaculate beats thrown down. Oh, refreshing. Uh, see, look at that. Look at that. We look at the summary and now we know that we can't get the sand attacked. I bet they have it too, so I won't even try it. Ooh, with the crit. Thank you. No, we don't need to change out. My Pidgey got it. My Pidgey got it. Hopefully we can get an evolve during this. Good thing stabbed us more. Probably not because they're also that type. It's like a bird smacking a bird. Oh. Not them hitting me back with it. That's crazy. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad guys. What other Pokemon do they offer out here? For sure the Clefairy and the... Clef... The Clefairy and the Wigglypuff. Or Jigglypuff. But besides that one, I don't know. I think maybe... No, that's a different game. Paras is in the... The cave itself. Do I need to pick up more Pokeballs? Let me check that in a second. Maybe some antidotes. No, because I got more well, paralyzed heals probably. Because we got the parass with the stun spore. And then let me check the bag after we get out. Bink bag. 13. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we got it, we got it. And we're quicker than dirt. Okay. Oh, that's a spot thingy. There's a spot there. I wish you could hit both of these, like double battle style. We'd make that one so worth it. Oh, and we didn't even switch out the. It's okay, it's okay. Bug catcher. We're gonna hit him with tackle. That's a pretty strong Caterpie though. Like a level 10, imagine a level 10 Caterpie just smacking you at the Viridian Forest. Cause realistically, your Pokemon are like five, right? So if you, <laughs> you get hit with a level 10 Caterpie, you're probably gonna be in some bad news. Even if you have Charmander. Well, maybe, honestly, Charmander could possibly tank it. The only issue is that after they string shot you one time, they're gonna get like a couple hits off every time. And if you face a bunch of them, you know, you might be in some trouble. Yes, of course you wanna trade up Pokemon because we gotta get a balanced team going, which means we might need to switch train the next member of our team. I think, honestly, if we don't pick up a Jigglypuff, or a Clefable, I think we might pick up a Nidoran. Girl Nidoran or Guy Nidoran, guys? 
I think girl Nidoran, because I used to have a guy Nidoran in one of my run-throughs, and he was awesome, 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 awesome. Do y'all recommend guy Nidoran or girl Nidoran? Special attack, attack. Alright, a special attacker. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's... Eh. We can get both. Oh, and the quick attack. This is close. This is clutch, kind of clutch. I don't think quick attack does a lot of damage. Though. I think it does like 20, 30. So this needs to be very good for us if we're in a pinch and we need to make sure that we clutch that last minute dub. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank you. Next. Should we pick up another mon here or we can wait because we can i think we for sure need to have a well-rounded team right so fire type would be preferred um either that or ground type I, i've always ran without ground type or if i had need ran that served as my ground type but then that would mean two poison types on my team which i don't know what all is immune to poison or what couldn't like realistically kill the our poison types which isn't like a, the biggest deal right maybe ground type but i think with the ground i think earthquake would be such a beneficial thing and we need a water type maybe a water type i don't know ekans no we won't switch out because ekans is a poison type and he might you know poison bite Oh, with the Intimidate. Crazy. So we'll set off the Leech Seed. Oh, we probably should hit a Growl first. Told you guys. Poison Sting. Ooh, and the Leech Seed comes in clutch right now. Back up, back up. Let's go, let's go. And so I think... We'll hit the Tackle. <gasps> we'll miss the tackle. Wrap's a pretty good one too, because it does like immediate damage and constant damage. And I'm pretty sure it also doesn't allow you to run away from the match. So like you can't just like escape or whatever, which you can't in this one either, because I'm pretty sure this is a trainer battle. So in that case, we're going to hit a vine whip. Hopefully this does a little bit more damage. Nope, not very effective. So we gotta use, uh, we're birth, <laughs> birth, we're both out here trying to make, do some damage to each other, but we're failing. So let's go tackle, let's go tackle. Uh. I'm trying to keep us above 25, but I don't know how much that's going to work. So let's try to get the tackle off. That poison thing probably would have done some damage to us. Oh, I think we're going to get, let's see, special attack. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We're going to get rid of, because I think this also halves the defense stat. So we can do land that. Oh, but sleep powder so good. I want to say sleep powder over poison because like poison powder is good don't get me wrong guys if we set up the leech seed with the poison powder could do some serious damage but that's not what we're trying to do if we set off leech seed with sleep powder you know what that could cause us that's right we can get the sleeping energy heal or we could just do the sleeping so we can keep them at like one percent or one like one health and then be able to catch it easier. 176, dude, these kids are rich. To just be dropping 170 something dollars. I thought we got, 
our Ivysaur. I guess not. I really thought so because, or does it evolve at 16 and you just get some cool moves at 15? Or am I crazy? Does they, do they evolve way later? I know the starters themselves do evolve or like level up at least naturally faster than the rest of the Pokemon in the game. All right, all right, we should probably. And see, now we can, we don't have to carry a silly, not as good Pokemon. Because if we do, or like, we can just battle all the wild encounters with our Bulbasaur because of the Fleet Powder. And with the Leech Seed, we don't have to worry about none of that. Because we can get them down safely without having to worry about it. And another one bites the dust. Wow, wow, wow. Another one bites the dust. Wow, 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 wow. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, I was scared that uh, this cocoon a new poison sting. Because that could be very terrifying, just in general. I think we're going to get the sweep clean sweep without anything gets bug catcher special attack heavy team what are y'all thinking guy needer and a girl i like the purple on guy needer i haven't had a girl on either i think it's a lot harder to get girl needer in so we can just sit here and grind out until we catch a girl needer in Metapod, easy. Metapod, more like meta lame. Whoa! Don't step at me, guys. I'll hit you with the nastiest disses. Ooh, that fool got Focus Sash on. That's crazy. Focus Sash Metapod. With Endeavor. <laughs> we would die. Because we're quick. Clean sweep, clean sweep. We're almost up to caught up with our Bulbasaur. Ah, oh, dang it. Sorry, guys. You're not wearing shorts? What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's funny. A Spiro. Okay, okay. Against our Pidgey. Are y'all a Pidgey guy or are y'all a Fero kind of time? Because like the two stage evolutions are cool and all, and I just wish their stats got more of a buff, you know? Because like, yeah, it's a it's a nice mod. It's a really cool design, and I think it resembles Ho Oh a lot more than uh, the Pidgey does. Regardless, though, Pidgey does. I think have better sting that pick hurt we're gonna get the quick attack off because i can't fool around right now good xp good xp i think i have to go with pidgeot Let's go. How much XP did we get from an orange berry? Key items. Mm, berry pouch, that's right, open. 10 HP. All right, let's look at this. I know, I know, guys. Yeah, no, I think we can tank 
of that a little bit until we get to the next Pokemon station. Oh, you can activate the double battle on this one? Maybe. You'd have to turn really stinking fast, like boom. Or boom, because you have to hit like right down. Hey. We're gonna hit the gust for the, ooh, quick attack. Or I guess quick attack is a stab move. Let's see if we outspeed you. Mm. Don't step at me, kid. T, I want one. All right, let's go. This is where being a poison type pays off. Oh, he's gonna have double kick on that thing. Cheesy. Cheesy as heck right now. We don't have to do anything. This guy's just taking damage. We set up completely free of charge. We could just set up if we wanted to. Did we get rid of Growl? Yeah, we did. So, in that case, we'll just hit the Vine Whip. Mm, poison type is resistant against grass, which is crazy that Bulbasaur is both. Fast asleep. I don't think we're gonna get the kill with that. That would've been crazy though. All right, all right, all right. Even if we miss the tackle, I think we're gonna get the dub. Hmm, get at me, Sally. All right, we gotta make it to this next. Oh. Oh, is this bug catcher? Another bug catcher. We got this, guys. And only two. Hopefully, they're two caterpies. Come on, two caterpies. Nah, it's probably a caterpie and a weedle. For 11s, nah, we might not be able to just one shot them. Never mind. Never mind. B dub's got it. B-dubs don't even care. In a Metapod? Ding! King Metapod. We stand Metapod. See how sturdy that guy is? See how sturdy that guy is? Even sturdier. That fool's getting sturdy. <laughs> Goodness, if we can just get through this. Oh, she didn't even care about us. That's crazy. We'll come back, guys. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Guys, I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'll go back and get them. I'll go back and get them. I just want to make it. I just want to make it here. We still got two Pokemon and we can pick up a lot of others. So I think what we'll do. Should we, we should pick up another Pokemon before we go fight them because we got that. That's like two or three Pokemon fights. That'll give us some pretty good XP from them. But okay, so do you, okay. No, 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 let's go straight to the grass. So we do we gotta catch it. We do have to catch it. We have to catch one because Nidoran is on the Pokedex. So let's hit uh, let's hit Quick Attack. Let's see how much that does. Probably a little less. Nope. Okay. See you guys. 
Oh, I think this has my defense, but that's not really what we need. We can just KO it for some experience. <sighs> We're so strong. We're too strong. And honestly, we might be able to just throw Pokeballs at it. Spiro. Let's see. Bag. Can we? Can we just throw? Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay. Spear of Caught. What are we going to call this one? What are we going to call this one? What are we giving the nickname to? <sighs> this is B dubs. This has to be Wingstop. Nothing against either, but we just gotta have both. It's harmony at its finest. Alright guys, give me two seconds. I gotta check something. I gotta make sure this is real or not. So, apparently in this game it has a couple cool features to it. Like, you have the ability to kind of, not like randomize, but you have more of the ability to check out some shinies. I guess more guaranteed shinies. All right, so let's see if this works because there's a specific score you got to stand under. I think it's this one or this one. But then after that, all the next Pokemon. Oh, oops, 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 let's get back. It has to be a shiny. <gasps> Imagine if we got a shiny Wigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Oh, we got a bag, bag, bag. Dang, we got a weak Jigglypuff. It's okay. We got to catch them all anyways. Who are you? Who are you that you're trying to just escape with that? What the heck? Who are you? How the heck are we gonna do this? Okay. No, I think we gotta get stronger one. Cause right now the only thing I know is to sing. Right, let's go heal. Grab. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go heal. And while that happens, I'll check out how this whole uh shiny thing works level seven man i see i really thought about giving Mankey poison punch and or not poison punch poison punch is a good move. is it a move i don't know it might be probably in like way later generations with uh like a le the poison electric type lizard dude him he would probably have it regardless though i think that we can while this heals give it two seconds to heal yes okay so let me get that checked out for y'all guys
Okay, okay. So it looks like that spot is called a shiny eyeser. And essentially, what the shiny eyeser does is that it not like guarantees it, but it should be the next Pokemon that you face will be a shiny. And you can usually tell based on. So I think what we'll do is go to Pokemon. Imagine a Pokemon run through, but it's only birds. I would have the ground bird, whatever that one is. Firo, Pidgey, obviously, because Pidgey's a G. It looked like it said this one. Okay. Not the corner one, or like two and two in. Okay, so two and two in. Two and two in. Right here. I don't think it worked. I think we still gotta catch the Jigglypuff and the... Uh... Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Probably try to turn that down. But I think we still gotta catch the Nidorans or Nidoran, the... I don't know if we're gonna get it, but we're gonna try. Did I miss my tackle? Trying to catch a new Pokemon, man. Oh, we don't have a male Nidoran. Okay, Got the sleep powder off. Yup. Level 7 Nidoran isn't bad. We hit the Leech Seed just for to take away a little bit of it. Start chucking it. Chuck. Norris. Give me Chucky Norris, Chucky Norris, Chucky Norris, Chucky Norris. Uh, Chucky Milk with the Norris boys. Chucky Norris. If we can't catch a female Nidoran, I think. I didn't nickname it. All right. If we catch a shiny one, then we gotta go with that one. Why? I don't know how this shiny eyeser works. We're just gonna keep running around. Come on, keep, be strong. Oh, I don't want you trying to put me to sleep. I'm seeing this pretty OP though. Man, 
and the leech seed. So then we can get start checking Pokeballs at it. Here we go. Let's go. Chuck. Come on. Chucky Norris. Let's go. Chucky Milk with the Norris. <gasps> Chucky Milk with the Norris, boys. We take those. We take those. This is why we have sleep powder. Now we got a nickname this one. We're going to call this one. We're going to call this one. How do you say cotton candy in Spanish? Cotton candy in Spanish. Or like palomita, palomita. Palomita, palomita, palomita. Come on, female Nidoran. We need that female Nidoran. Because we got to catch all of these guys. Hero. What else am I missing in this route? I wonder if there's any other Pokemon that I need to catch in this route, particularly. Yeah, Nidor and Female would be the hardest one to catch. Oh, we can get a Magic card. That's right, guys. Ooh, and then we also have some other Pokemon that we have to go catch. Like Geodude, Clefairy... I don't know if Clefairy ever has any better chance. It's like 6% chance of you finding one. But we also need to find a Nidoran female. Well, in the meantime, what we can do is train up some of these Pokemon. Okay, let's go up there, heal a little bit. And then we'll go, we gotta go back and do those other Pokemon matches, as well as we gotta... Should we pick up the Magikarp? Okay guys, like the Magikarp is pretty good for water type. There's other better water types, but we could also give it all the flying moves that we need for it. So then that frees up. Something else, just to like instead of a Pidgey. Let's see. Party Pokemon. What? what? Oh, my bad. Okay. Let's go. Spiro. Store. I wish I would have named you. Palomita with Mega Kick? Well, we can rock a Mankey. They're both just level one, or like one stage evolutions, like double stage or two stage evolutions, you know? Well, technically, you can get a like mini boy of Clefairy and uh, Jigglypuff. Hmm. I think regardless, we gotta put that one in the box for now. This is up in the maybes. Right now, this is up in the maybes. We got a lot of money. Is it because we'd be beating up these people? 
do we want to get a magic carp because if we get a magic carp we can switch train it really early we should we get rid of pidgey or if we get rid of pidgey that's a flying type and we don't we don't really have to worry about bugs anymore right because then we just need to worry about ground types which bulbasaur can do and it's not like we're getting rid of pidgey just yet But I think Gyarados can learn fly. He has Hydro Pump and can learn Surf. So, oh, I think we gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Sushi. He has to be Sushi. Has to be Sushi. Sushi. Now, let's go talk to everybody. Now we gotta go back. What up with it, nerd? Do you touch me? No, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. But guys, let me know in the comment section. Do y'all wanna see Jigglypuff? Or do y'all wanna see some Uh, what should I call it? Do you want to see some Jigglypuff action, or do you want to see some Gyarados, or both? I'm definitely okay with both. That is definitely something I've had in my past run-throughs of this game. So now, while well, we got the switch train going, I think I think Magic Carp. Since regardless, we ha you, to get a Gyarados, you can't just cap. I mean, you could, maybe, possibly. That's kind of hard to just find a Gyarados. So regardless, I think this will still be something that we have to do eventually. And Clefairy, we can... Solid of you to just be able to wake up on the first try. whip to get some damage off at least okay now we gotta set up the leech seed but yeah please let me know i would love to cultivate this oh my god she don't stay asleep for nothing but i would definitely love 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 to cultivate or culminate this team around y'all's preferences and whatever y'all think is best for the series and like i said guys we have a lot of pokemon to choose from so please 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 take a look at the first two generations and let me know what y'all think we you would love to see here because honestly i could see this team kind of being a mix mosh of gen 1 through 3 and oh also the other starters are definitely in the list like you're you have the ability to you know ask for one of the other starters and look at that already already ask for one of the other starters as if you'd like to see me like with the charizard which would also cover the flying type and the fire type we could definitely try to make that work that would definitely be like a late game kind of process but a process nonetheless female nidoran nope should we catch this one call it enchilada We could switch train. Oh, dang, sorry guys. Dang, these things are kind of weak. Not gonna lie. Let's hit this tackle. Maybe we can land it. Uh, what? Beefy. In the sleep. That's funny. That's funny as heck. That's freaking funny. Uh, the orange berry popped. Let's go. How many? I, we only said it only went up 10, right? So I guess it only has like 20 HP. That's a 
level five. Well, regardless, that's kind of a lot. Maybe I, maybe it's at twelve because like maybe the other three. No, that would make sense. Three is a lot for, or that's not too much for it to be like taking up that much of the health bar for them. Uh, the defense curl too. That's cool. Now I'm just reading onion as orange, like orange berry. <gasps> Double C. We're getting stalled out right now. This is absolute craziness. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Nope, okay. I think we'll switch out to Jigglypuff probably. I don't know if Jigglypuff has any hitting moves or maybe it doesn't because it's not doing any damage to me. If we can set off the leech seed while we're asleep a little bit, we could at least do some damage while we're asleep. Or guys, should I just run away from it? Uh, leech seed. Let's go. Okay. It's okay. We got it. We got it. How many PP <laughs> does, uh, whatchamacallit have, seeing? I don't know if you would have survived that if you weren't so freaking beefy right now. Disrespectful, disrespectful as heck. I was just joking around with that, but that's disrespectful. Just get murked by the leaf seed. All right, guys, I think we're gonna spend the last little bit trying to get a Nidorand female. And if we can, that'll be great. If we can't, we'll, you know, best of luck next time. But I think. It'll be very fitting and very good for us to have a Nidorean female. Not the low kick. Level seven, you see guys? The low kick does more damage, I think, depending on what kind of, how heavy you are. Cause so like some of the bigger mods like Onyx, some of the beefy ones, Snorlax, Mert. What a great way to end the episode, guys. I think regardless if we get neater and female or not, it's a great thing that we were able to get this Bulbasaur into a Ivysaur. So now our Onion is like, just another layer has grown on Onion. If you don't know why I'm calling or pronouncing it that way, I am, I know it's pronounced Onion. But Onion is from Park, or not Parks and Recs, it's Arrested Development. You should definitely take a watch at it. I got to watch it probably a couple years, three years back now with a buddy of mine. And it, it was like our show for a good while. Like we loved it. We absolutely loved it. And uh, it gives me Shameless mixed with... Mm, no, it's like a family-oriented Shameless. Well, it's like Shameless mixed with... No, no, no. Yeah, it's basically family-oriented Shameless. Which, like I said, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm not saying that as an insulting or a pleasing way. I think it's just a very good comparison to what we're doing. All right, guys. It looks like we're not going to get it. So let's just head back up to this Pokemon Center. Or maybe we can end this with a small dub of getting a shiny. Right here, neither and female. Nope. It's okay, guys. Let me debate on what we think we should have for a third or fourth and or fourth team members. Because we still got some Geodudes, some Onyxes, some uh, Spiros. No, I'm just kidding. 
If y'all want me to do a run with Spiro instead of a Pidgey, definitely let me know. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. I am just not used to it. But guys, it's a good idea that we got the which I'm gonna call it. We got the magic carp because if we wanted to have magic carp, this would be like the perfect way to start from the start. You know, we have time to grow it and not have to worry about it. So let's heal up a little bit. And I think that's where we're gonna end the episode right there, guys. I appreciate y'all for enjoying this. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but the pace of the series is a little slower. I'm getting about an hour into each one of the things or each one of the little sections of the game because. It does take time to catch all the Pokemons, up your team to where it needs to be before you move on to the next area. Or like you could just kind of raw dog it and or like just go through it rampage style and get through the game. Which again isn't a bad style but I think for what we're doing which is trying to catch all 386 Pokemon. Right now we only have 6 and let's see we caught Mag we got a Magikarp 7. Uh... We got Nidoran, we got Spiro, and Jigglypuff. So that's four extra. We got ten now. And if we hopefully can catch the Nidoran female, which the Safari Zone could be a good thing for us, we can definitely get through there. And we reached our goal of getting to the cave, which I think next episode will be very good for us because we can catch a Paras, we can catch Geodude, we can catch uh, some other Pokemon that are in there. And hopefully, I think we have a higher chance of getting a, a Clefairy. So thank you again, guys. I hope to see you on the next episode. And like I said, like, uh, subscribe, and comment anything you'd like to see, any more video games you'd like me to try out and run through. We're speedrun. I'm definitely okay with speedrunning some games, nuzlocking, some special rules, stuff like that. Any homebrew games that y'all have as well, but please drop a like, drop a subscribe, comment anything y'all would like. Keep it positive. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Deuces.